Notice that only C and G7 chords are needed to play every song. Notice also that the diagrams show you two ways to finger the C chord and two ways to finger the G7 chord. If you have played the guitar for only a very short time, use the small, simplified forms of each. If you are more advanced, use the larger, more complete fingerings. While either set is correct, the larger forms sound fuller and, more important, offer you another chance to hear if you have tuned every string correctly. Each small slanting line throughout the music indicates one strum of the chord. Now, one last instruction, and we'll be ready to play. So that we will be sure to start together, I am going to count ahead of each song in this manner. One, two, ready, play. On the next beat after the word play, we begin. The rhythm at which I count will also indicate the tempo of that song. The first song is Skip to My Loop. We play this one twice. When you reach the end of your music for this song, immediately repeat it. Play every song. Play every, play every, play every song. Play every song. 
play, 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 play every song. Notice that only C and G7 chords are needed to play every song. Play every song. 